High Court of Justice, Wikipedia Audio The High Court is, together with the Court of Appeal and the Crown Court, one of the senior courts of England and Wales. Its name is abbreviated as EWHC for legal citation purposes. The High Court deals at first instance with all high value and high importance cases, and also has a supervisory jurisdiction over all subordinate courts and tribunals, with a few statutory exceptions. The High Court consists of three divisions, the Queen's Bench Division, the Chancery Division, and the Family Division. Their jurisdictions overlap in some cases, and cases started in one division may be transferred by court order to another where appropriate. The differences of procedure and practice between divisions are partly historical, derived from the separate courts which were merged into the single high court by the 19th century Judicature Acts, but are mainly driven by the usual nature of their work, for example, conflicting evidence of fact is quite commonly given in person in the Queen's Bench Division but evidence by affidavit is more usual in the Chancery Division which is primarily concerned with points of law. History Most High Court proceedings are heard by a single judge, but certain kinds of proceedings, especially in the Queen's Bench Division, are assigned to a divisional court, a bench of two or more judges. Exceptionally the court may sit with a jury, but in practice normally only in defamation cases or cases against the police. Litigants are normally represented by counsel, but may be represented by solicitors qualified to hold a right of audience, or they may act in person. In principle the High Court is bound by its own previous decisions, but there are conflicting authorities as to what extent. Appeal from the High Court in civil matters normally lies to the Court of Appeal, and thence in cases of importance to the Supreme Court, in some cases a leapfrog appeal may be made directly to the Supreme Court. In criminal matters appeals from the Queen's Bench Divisional Court are made directly to the Supreme Court. The High Court is based at the Royal Courts of Justice on the Strand in the City of Westminster, London. It has district registries across England and Wales and almost all High Court proceedings may be issued and heard at a district registry. The High Court is headed by the Lord Chief Justice. The High Court of Justice was established in 1875 by the Supreme Court of Judicature Act 1873. The Act merged eight existing English courts the Court of Chancery, the Court of Queen's Bench, the Court of Common Pleas, the Court of Exchequer, the High Court of Admiralty, the Court of Probate, the Court for Divorce and Matrimonial Causes, and the London Court of Bankruptcy into a new Supreme Court of Judicature. The new Supreme Court was divided into the Court of Appeal, which exercised appellate jurisdiction, and the High Court, which exercised original jurisdiction. Originally, the High Court consisted of five divisions the King's Bench, Common Pleas, Exchequer, Chancery, and Probate, Divorce and Admiralty Divisions. In 1880, the Common Pleas and Exchequer Divisions were abolished, leaving three divisions. The Probate, Divorce, and Admiralty Division was renamed to the Family Division by the Administration of Justice Act 1970, and its jurisdiction reorganized accordingly. The High Court is organized into three divisions, the Queen's Bench Division, the Chancery Division, and the Family Division. A list of hearings in the High Court's divisions is published daily. The Queen's Bench Division or King's Bench Division when the monarch is male has two roles. It hears a wide range of common law cases and also has special responsibility as a supervisory court. Until 2005, the head of the QBD was the Lord Chief Justice. 
The post of President of the Queen's Bench Division was created by the Constitutional Reform Act 2005, leaving the Lord Chief Justice as President of the Courts of England and Wales, Head of the Judiciary of England and Wales and Head of Criminal Justice. Sir Igor Judge was the first person to hold this office, appointed in October 2005. The Queen's Bench Division has supervisory jurisdiction over inferior courts, and its administrative court is generally the appropriate legal forum where the validity of official decisions may be challenged. Generally, unless specific appeal processes are provided, the validity of any decision of a government minister, inferior court, tribunal, local authority, or official body may be challenged by someone with sufficient interest by judicial review in the administrative court of the Queen's Bench Division. A single judge first decides whether the matter is fit to bring to the court and if so the matter is allowed to go forward to a full judicial review hearing with one or more judges. In addition, the Queen's Bench Divisional Court hears appeals on points of law from the Magistrates' Court and from the Crown Court. These are known as appeals by way of case stated, since the questions of law are considered solely on the basis of the facts found and stated by the authority under review. Divisions other specialized courts of the Queen's Bench Division include the Technology and Construction Court, Commercial Court, and the Admiralty Court. The specialized judges and procedures of these courts are tailored to their type of business, but they are not essentially different from any other court of the QBD. Appeals from the High Court in civil matters are made to the Court of Appeal. In criminal matters appeal from the Divisional Court is made only to the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. The Chancery Division deals with business law, trusts law, probate law, insolvency, and land law in relation to issues of equity. It has specialist courts which deal with patents and registered designs and company law matters respectively. All tax appeals are assigned to the Chancery Division. The head of the Chancery Division was known as the Vice-Chancellor until October 2005, when the title was changed by the Constitutional Reform Act 2005 to Chancellor of the High Court. The first Chancellor was Sir Andrew Moritt, who retired in 2013 to be succeeded by Sir Terence Etherton. In 2016, Sir Geoffrey Voss succeeded Sir Terence as Chancellor on the latter's appointment as Master of the Rolls. Cases heard before the Chancery Division are reported in the Chancery Division Law Reports. In practice, there is some overlap of jurisdiction with the QBD. From October 2015, the Chancery Division and the Commercial Court have maintained the financial list for cases which would benefit from being heard by judges with suitable expertise and experience in the financial markets or which raise issues of general importance to the financial markets. The procedure was introduced to enable fast, efficient and high-quality dispute resolution of claims related to the financial markets. The Family Division deals with personal human matters such as divorce, children, probate, and medical treatment. Its decisions are often of great importance only to the parties, but may concern life and death and are perhaps inevitably regarded as controversial. For example, it permitted a hospital to separate conjoined twins without the parents' consent, and allowed one woman to have her life support machines turned off while not permitting a husband to give his severely disabled wife a lethal injection with her consent. The Family Division exercises jurisdiction to hear all cases relating to children's welfare, and has an exclusive jurisdiction in wardship cases. Its head is the President of the Family Division, currently Sir James Munby. High Court Judges of the Family Division sit at the Royal Courts of Justice. Strand, London, 
while district judges of the family division sit at First Avenue House, Holborn, London. The family division is comparatively modern. The Judicature Acts first combined the Court of Probate, the Court for Divorce and Matrimonial Causes and the High Court of Admiralty into the then Probate, Divorce and Admiralty Division of the High Court, or the Court of Wills, Wives and Recs, as it was informally called. That was renamed the Family Division when the Admiralty and contentious probate business were transferred elsewhere. The Family Division has faced criticism by allowing allegedly abusive partners to cross-examine their former partners, a procedure already banned in criminal procedure. Peter Kyle, MP for Hove, claimed this amounted to abuse and brutalization, and called for the system to be changed. Liz Truss, when she was Lord Chancellor, announced plans to end this practice, and proposals were contained in Clause 47 of the Prisons and Courts Bill before Parliament was prorogued for the 2017 general election. Queen's Bench Division Chancery Division the formation within the High Court of the Business and Property Courts of England and Wales was announced in March 2017, and launched in London in July 2017. The courts would in future administer the specialist jurisdictions previously administered in the Queen's Bench Division under the names of the Admiralty Court, the Commercial Court, and the Technology and Construction Court and in the Chancery Division under the lists for business, company and insolvency, competition, financial, intellectual property, revenue, and trusts and probate. The change was meant to enable judges who have suitable expertise and experience in the specialist business and property jurisdictions to be cross-deployed to sit in the specialist courts while continuing existing practices for cases that proceed in them. Family Division Business and Property Courts Sittings Judges Circuits and District Registries The High Court only operates within four traditional periods in the year, known as sittings. The Justices of Her Majesty's High Court of Justice are informally known as High Court Judges, and in judicial matters are formally styled the Honorable Mr. Justice Surname, abbreviated in writing to Surname J. In court, they are properly addressed as My Lord. Since by convention they are knighted upon appointment, socially they are addressed as Sir Forname or Dame Forname, without the prefix the Honorable, which is given only to their office. High Court judges are sometimes referred to as Red Judges after the color of their formal robes, in contrast to the Junior Circuit judges who are referred to as Purple Judges for the same reason. High Court judges are appointed by the Queen on the recommendation of Judicial Appointments Commission, from qualified lawyers. Home government is statutorily required to respect the principle of judicial independence, and both Houses of Parliament have standing orders to similar effect. High Court judges may be removed before their statutory retirement age only by a procedure requiring the approval of both Houses of Parliament. Costs Office In addition to full High Court judges, other qualified persons such as retired judges, circuit judges and senior Queen's Counsel are individually authorized to sit as deputy judges of the High Court to hear particular cases, and while sitting are addressed as though they were full justices. Much judicial work concerned with procedural or non-contentious matters and certain trials are conducted by junior judges known as Masters of the High Court. High Court judges also sit in the Crown Court, which try the more significant criminal cases, but High Court judges only hear the most serious and important cases, with circuit judges and recorders hearing the majority. 
historically the ultimate source of all justice in England was the monarch. All judges sit in judgment on the monarch's behalf and criminal prosecutions are generally made in the monarch's name. Historically, local magnates administered justice in manorial courts and other ways. Inevitably, the justice administered was patchy and appeals were made direct to the king. The king's travelling representatives acted on behalf of the king to make the administration of justice more even. The tradition continues of judges travelling around the country in set circuits, where they hear cases in the district registries of the High Court. The main High Court is not itself a High Court district registry. The Senior Courts Costs Office, which quantifies legal costs pursuant to orders for costs, serves all divisions. Such Costs Office is part of the High Court. Because the Costs Office is part of the High Court, generally all detailed assessment proceedings commenced in the Costs Office are subject to provisional assessment. Exceptions from provisional assessment are detailed assessment proceedings in which the costs claimed are large or in which the potential paying party does not respond to the notice of assessment. Notes